Hello folks, I'm Dwayne Everett, the Shot Doctor, and welcome to a visit to the doctor's office. You know, when I, I think about uh, ESPN and what they've done for us and allowed the format for us to be in a position to do the things that we do today, we'd like to just thank each and every one of you for tuning in to our radio shows, tuning in to our podcasts, tuning in to our video formats. And we'd like to thank the, uh, the people at Free Thinkers for creating this format. But in this brief visit, I want to remind you that what has transpired today is National Signing Day. And for the first time, Nick Saban in a long time has been knocked off his perch as Georgia remains number one in the high school recruiting class. Quite interesting for a team that uh, just lost a national title to Alabama, but a convincing message obviously was sent. A topic I want to hit today uh, briefly with you as I roll right into the show, and later we'll talk more about, uh, as we close, about what to expect in the future. But what I really want to talk about is this feud in the NBA between players and officiating, the referees and the million-dollar players. It appears that we have a war, and that war is with officials, I think, that are very underpaid, They've reached a point in time with prima donna athletes that they have decided enough is enough. We have an increased amount of technical fouls, an increased amount of ejections. We do see the temperamental superstars not getting the preferential treatment they used to get. We're starting to see Kevin Durant, Steph Curry, Draymond Green, LeBron James, you name the player whose name is on a marquee status, and he's getting technicals, many are getting ejected, and they're getting a lot of no calls. This is not a coincidence. I think a time has come where the prima donna athlete has worn on the environment of officiating. But I think it's deeper than that. I think what you'll find is that the NBA has created a culture of a us and them because the officials are stuck out there all on their own because under current commissioner Adam Silver, we have learned more about bad calls or calls that the league has basically sided with the franchise, the teams, and the coaches rather than supporting the balance of authority inside the lines, which are their officials. Too often, controversial calls have been called out by the league, even without public outrage. They have called out and said, you know what? That call was a bad call. That call was unnecessary. The officials missed a call, and they have made it a part of mainstream media, which today is what? social media as well, because messages move much quicker today. So they're vilified before they get their morning coffee in a lot of instances. They don't even get on the train, the plane, or in their vehicles to head to their next venue before they have already, as a crew, been vilified. I think the league needs to rethink that position, just like the NFL needs to rethink the catch rule, which hopefully in off season that will be re-identified that a catch is a catch. And let's not continue the motion too far. Control was always a catch. And we've allowed certain circumstances for key teams against high-profile players that we didn't quite care about. We created new rules, just like we allowed the tuck rule to become a rule against a fumble in one game, but we set a precedent, so we changed the rule. It was amazing how we can not equivocate just the basic rule as what it is, but we've always had to go a layer under when we manage professional, and now scholastic sports. Let's let the rule be the rule, and let's quit 
playing around and mincing words to come up with ways to keep certain teams in a position to win or entertain our fan base. An upset is an upset. A bad day is a bad day. A great play is a great play. Hey, I'm the Shot Doctor. In this brief uh, discussion with you, it was a great afternoon spending with you, with you visiting our office. Again, stay tuned tomorrow as we'll bring something else new to you as Free Thinkers has given us a format to connect with you very quickly. Thanks a lot. I'm Dwayne Everett. I'm the Shot Doctor, and this was your visit to the doctor's office.